about people's necks, and they're drowning, no doubt about it. Now, jealousy is y'all's name. That's what he said in his book. It is my name. Are you following me? That word jealousy, what it means is, now we're dealing with the good part of jealousy, okay? Man don't have this. He can understand it only in the relationship of a mother and a father. Or let me just use mother, because that's what Christ used, isn't that right? As a mother hen. As a mother hen protects her chicks, isn't that right? So we're using that sense. They, they, she's jealous over, over them, very protective, zealous over them. That's what the word jealousy means. Very zealous over there. I mean, you, you've never seen that. Like, is there, you know, father, you know, he's already got a, a built-in protection mechanism. Because we can't say that today with all these damn jack legs and dogs out here going mounting every woman it is and then having babies and then running off and leaving them. Amen. You know what I mean? Any old damn um, flea bag of a, a, a stray of a dog can do that. And they call themselves, man, they ain't no man. And you women, he could be foolish. Amen. That's what y'all need to do. Quit being food because somebody, hey, baby, I love you, baby. You don't even know what love is. Hey, baby, I do. Yeah, yeah, baby, 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 baby. Well, you know, when y'all get some sense about yourselves, Amen. because it takes two to tango. You couldn't have all these babies unless, unless, you know, unless you was with that jack leg in the first place. Amen. You need to find a God-fearing man. Amen. Somebody to go and set an example and be an example. Right. That's what you need. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now let's lift him up and do a crazy praise. Hmm? Let's, just, let's do a, let's get beside ourselves now. Perhaps if we praise him loud enough, he'll hear us. Yeah. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Lord to the King. I was talking about stray dogs, wasn't it? Yes, sir. We'll leave the stray dogs alone unless they come here, then we'll shoot them. There we go. How about that, brother? Uh, they understand. Uh, Stay and change people's mind, but they understand. Right. Well, there's going to be some honorable women that would actually do what the, the Most High said and save yourself for marriage so you can have a blood covenant there. Amen. You ain't seen the nature of man by the time you look at this book. You put your sin out, a man is stupid enough to go smell it. And then you leave it all up to man, call him uh, some type of dog and pig and stuff. If he, Then what are you, a bitch, a bastard, a whore? Let's just tell it like it is. And you sit back and look like you victims of circumstances. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought. What you expect when you got somebody who ain't under the, the unction of the most high? Who don't have his spirit in him and going to be led by him. We see men who had his spirit and stuff. Still, boy, when a woman come around, they just lose all their senses. Yeah, we're not going to paint no picture of everybody as a victim of circumstances. You're responsible for your own actions. Amen. We're not going to pat you upside your head over here. We'll knock you upside your head. Amen. Forget about the patent junk. It ain't worked. No, sir. Hmm? Oh, praise God. Amen. So, the father is jealous over us because he's focused on us. He does not want to share us with Satan. I mean, is that all right, brother? Yes, I mean, that's, that's, that's his opinion. That's his belief. That's his theology. That's his teach. That's his doctrine. And so he desires to protect his people just like a mother would, a mother hen would protect her chicks. What kind of protection would the chicks have if she continued to keep running off from the mother? Hmm? What kind of, I mean, how much... I mean, she can't sit up there and sacrifice the ones that are sitting there in the roost for the ones that continually keep running off and decide to go way, way. She can only go so far. Right. She has bounds, limitations and stuff. Because if I leave too far, it could be something that's going to be set up as a decoy to, you know, as the one to get the hole. Right. We need to understand these analogies. Amen? Amen. 
So we've often approached jealousy from the negative viewpoint. We're going to approach it from the positive viewpoint, amen, from the, from the most high viewpoint. The biggest problem the Israelites are having today is that most people who inspire to be God's people don't understand the covenant. Of course, a covenant don't mean nothing with us anyway. I mean, after all, are we not... Um, our citizen, our heritage, our nationality is Israelites. Is that right? Amen. Our citizenships are Americans, right? And after all, we did learn from our country how to break covenant, didn't we? Amen. I mean, our country had never kept a covenant with nobody. I mean, this, this cursed behavior has got to pass down. True. That's what we learn from. That's the reason why you don't get too many people meaning what they say and saying what they mean. And then when you do get people that mean what they say and say what they mean, it kind of bamboozles us. It goes, Ugh. It knocks us crazy and since you know how they draw them stars and them circles and lightning bolts and everything when your mind is like in a disarray. Man. It's like, man, you mean to tell me some folk can actually do this thing? You are yes. Somebody can do this thing. Don't tell me that you need me in order to serve God. No, it ain't. It's where your heart is. You need God to serve God. You don't need me when you mess up. Oh, hallelujah. It takes a made up mind. Isn't that right? Deuteronomy 29, 19. Listen to the words of the book. Come on with it. And it came to pass. Uh -huh. When he heareth the words of this curse. Now this is something y'all notice I always pound down on. This is a scripture that you need to, I don't know, color, highlight it, put some lights in it, don't rig up something electrical in your Bible so it just, bam, jumps off the pages. Because it's going to tell you something about us as a people. That's the reason why it's written in the book. Mm -hmm. All right? Come on with it. That he blessed himself in his heart. Now, you know, that, that word curse disturbs me when I see that. Because that's the translation. That's what they use in translation. That word there is actually the number 423 Allah, which means uh, of an oath of a covenant. Did y'all hear that? An oath of a covenant. And it came to pass when he hear the words of the oath of this covenant, what it should be saying. Because, you know, we, 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 our minds are crazy. We read curse, so we go, ah, oh, let me stay away from it. Ah, oh. But then we'll sit up there and look, look at Harry Potter and, and have all kind of trinkets and novelties and everything else in our, in our homes and read kind of books and everything that's forbidden and wear crosses around our necks. And anyway, we don't know what a curse is. Let somebody tell us. We don't know because we ain't reading this book to get no understanding. Hallelujah. Read on. And that he blessed himself in his heart. Now, this bless himself in his heart has got a lot to do. Listen to this. Read on. Saying, I shall have peace. I will have peace. Read on. Though I walk in the imagination of my heart. Though I'm going to do what I want to do, I'm going to have peace. Read on. To add drunkenness to thirst. The Lord will not To add you. drunkenness to thirst. Ha. Uh -huh. <sighs> Read on, brother. The Lord will not spare him. Yahweh is not going to spare you. You know, read on. But then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy shall smoke 